another one of my videos. Right, I've been uh, busy in the workshop, sort of doing this and that. I've been doing some fiberglass covers for someone, uh, for various people. So they're all handmade on this and they're, they're set up on here so I can fill all the holes and fixings and make sure everything fits your engine. Um, but this has got to come off now and we're going to get this block out. You can have a look around that. Pretty grubby. We'll get you a look from the other side as well in a minute. Let's get the other bits. Right, that's the state of our casings. This uh, has had a little incident on the inside. Looks like the uh, sprocket can loose at some point. It is pretty damn grimy. Uh, so, we've got to get all this crap off first before we start doing anything. Yep. So, uh, before I can jet wash it and clean all the crap off, I'm going to have to strip down the inside of the engine, so let's go ahead and do that first. See the uh, the rear bearing seal was pretty well done. <laughs> Common. I think if I hit this seal with a hammer, it'd probably shatter into a million pieces. It's so hard. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of like when I was 16 and decided to write a Scarborough on an old J Reg uh, GP that had no work done on it whatsoever. Just bunged a fair seat on it and some mirrors and a whip aerial, and off I went. Wonder why it broke down. <laughs> Right, put a bit of lube on the uh, tap. First thing we're going to do is go around these uh, threads and just check them all. See if they're nice and make sure they're nice and clean and good. Yeah, nice and tight fitting in there. Yeah. If your tap's all slack. And you know this the thread's sort of uh, a bit on its way out but this seems to be nice uh, clean tight threads i 
I remember Steve, uh, Stevie B from Tenerife had lots of problems with his casing. It was just, just rotten, and uh, everything just stripped on it. Even when we put helicoils in, they still pulled out. Just no, just the aluminium was just rotten. But these seem to be okay. Right, the bag might look a bit grubby, but uh, it's a nice set of BGM studs. They're still in the bag. So, uh, yeah. These will uh, be a little bit longer as well. So we'll just try them in on a dry fit first. And here we have our little fitting tool okay all those threads are fantastic Right, what we'll proceed to do now is, we'll uh, actually offer the barrel up on here and see how far our casing's off on matching because Tino's ports are huge. <laughs> so we're hoping we've got plenty of meat. Luckily these are Spanish casings, so uh, it gives us a bit of a chance. Let's go get it. Right, we'll slide the barrel on. A little bit tight there on the neck as well of the skirt that's going to have to I, I don't like any pressure on that skirt because that's going to pressure the skirt in and uh, it could cause heat seizures because it'll take up clearance on the board because these do flex and I think yeah we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do here so that we'll have to uh, have a closer look at a bit of dressing but in the meantime uh, as you can see that on this top edge here, Tino, there's only about a mil of gasket or a mil and a half, it is really close. Um, I think there's no way you're going to use uh, Tino's gaskets, they'll go straight in the bin because if you fit Tino's gaskets to this, they'll simply collapse. Uh, they're useless. Sorry about that, mate, but you need to change your gaskets. And your ports are a little bit too big for a lot of casings, I would say. These are Spanish casings, so they've got a lot more meat on them. I think on Italian casings, you'd have to have the casings welded up. So, I'm not happy with that. We've got some cleaning to do here. That'll be the Dremel. There's a few little spares on there. Okay, as you can see, there's some very small Spurs of probably Nicosil here that's just making it difficult for me to put it, uh, the barrel onto the uh, onto the casing. Now, any novice trying to do this would uh, be in a bit of trouble because they probably wouldn't notice it and just push it on. So you've got to be really careful picking up on little bits like this. So we'll uh, get the Dremel and get a stone on it and just take that down and clean it all up. Okay, that's 
much better. We'll try and slide this back on now and see what it's uh, see what it's like. Should be uh, much better. Yeah, that goes in a lot easier now. I'll probably clean up the casings on the inside a little bit more, but yeah, that's fine. We are happy with that. Right, I've put one of Tino's gaskets on the barrel. And as you can see here, the gasket's wider than the barrel on the port, which makes it completely useless for marking up with. So that one's still a little bit out. So this gasket is no good for us. We can't use that. Uh, not even for marking up the ports. So um, I'm gonna have to find another gasket. Okay, these are all his other gaskets that he supplied. Uh, no, wrong way around. That one's no better. It's a little bit more, but no, try another one. And that one is just as bad. It's still got this big uh, cutaway here. It's best to leave the gasket smaller so you can cut them to match, not bigger and less gasket face. Okay, what I'm going to use is an aluminium gasket. This is the thinnest one I've got at the moment. Uh, it's so thin I can literally press it into the port with my thumb to get the shape. And then we'll trim that out with the Dremel to match. Right, just arrived in the post. Straight jackets from Jamie Super Ibar. Thank you very much, Jamie. I think that's in recognition of my uh, little review on his on his book, uh, on his Ibar book. So these will be made to good use. Luckily for me, I haven't fitted the cable the uh, cables yet. So just in time. Okay, we've got our uh, gasket in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. Make sure it's lined up correctly, and we'll hold it down with some uh, of this gaff tape. So it doesn't move around. There we go, lovely jubbly. And now we're gonna trim all this off with the Dremel so then we've got the gasket matched to go in our uh, on our casings. <laughs> 